Hi everybody, this is the Algebra 2 video on rewriting quadratic equations in graphing form by completing the square. All right, so graphing form, when we look at that, you guys, that is in the form y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, because that is the form that we used in order to find the vertex. All right, these are in standard form. All the equations I have today are in standard form, and we need to change them into graphing form. Now, the forms are gonna be the same. So when I go into my calculator, sorry, well, leave it out, um, and I take x squared plus 6x and then minus 11, whatever equation I get in graphing form, it should be the same. My table will be the same because I'm gonna check all of my questions. So here's the deal, you guys. When I do this, I say y equals, I'm gonna separate the quadratic term and the linear term from that constant. I'm just gonna let that constant just kind of hang out. And the goal here is to make it into this, okay? So I need this, x squared plus 6x, to be something times something, which would be something squared, which is what I want there. And then I'll have my graphing form. So let's think about it. Factors of x would be x and x. Now think about it. The outside and inside has to be the same, and they have to add to 6. Well, the only number that would be would be 3 and 3, correct? Because I'd have a 3x and a 3x. That's a 6x. Now here's the deal. That's 6 with pluses. Okay, so here I go, three and three, that'd be a nine. So I have to add nine to complete my square to make this x plus three squared. If I add nine here, I have changed my equation. I started with a balanced equation here, you guys, and I've added nine. So there's two things I can do. I can either subtract nine from the other side, which I really don't wanna do. I'm sorry, add nine to the other side, which I don't really wanna do, or I can subtract nine because don't those two things just make zero? Okay, negative 11 minus 9 is minus 20, and that should be my new equation. So I'm going to take x plus 3, and I'm going to square it, and I'm going to subtract 20, and pray that these tables are the same, and they are exactly the same, so I know I have it. Therefore, my vertex, think about it. Wouldn't we go to the left, 3, and then down 20? My vertex is at negative 3, negative 20. All right, and we could verify that with our calculator, but we don't. I don't need to. So that is the process of completing the square. The big thing is we want it in this form. And the A here is just one because there's nothing there and there's actually nothing there as well. Because the other form we had, this standard form was AX squared plus BX plus C. Guys, the A's here and here, they're exactly the same. All right, so if this A was one, that A is one as well. All right, let's move on to the next one. If you need to take some time, press pause, and then you're gonna write y equals x squared minus 12x plus 33. Same process, y equals, we're gonna take the x squared minus the 12x, have that sit alone, plus 33. All right, the goal here is to have something times something, which is something squared. x squared is x and x. In order to get negative 12 on the outside and inside, and it has to be the same because it's squared, wouldn't I have to have a negative six and a negative six? So negative 6x minus 6x gives me negative 12x. Now to complete my square, I need to multiply those guys together and add 36. So if I added 36, I need to balance my equation because I added 36 here. I can either add 36 over here, which I don't want to do because I want the y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 36 there. All right, here we go. This is going to be x minus 6 squared and 33 minus 36 is negative 3. So let's check that. So I had x squared, this was minus 12x. And then what, plus 33? And this was x minus 6 squared and minus 3. All right, let's see here. Yep, my tables are exactly the same. I'm feeling good about it. So if you think about it, if I was on the coordinate plane here, I'd go to the right 6, down 3. That would be the point 6, negative 3. That's my vertex. All right, and the reason I'm doing that is because you're gonna have a worksheet on this soon. Next one, number three. Okay, what makes this different? Well, it's kind of the same. Y equals, we're gonna have X squared plus seven X. I'm gonna let that negative 11 hang out. Again, completing the square. I need something times something else, which is gonna be something squared. X squared is X and X. Now seven, outside and inside has to add to seven. Wouldn't that have to be three and a half? And three and a half, right? because three and a half X plus three and a half X gives me seven X, and those are both positive. Now, to get this number, I need to multiply 3.5 by 3.5, and I'm getting a grand total of 12.25, so I have to add 12.25 here. All right, if I add 12.25, what do I have to do to balance my equation? Either add it over here or subtract it over here, and I'm a big fan of subtracting over here because I want it to be Y equals. 
So this is gonna be x equals, or I'm sorry, y equals the quantity x plus 3.5 squared. And then minus, all right, I'm gonna take negative 11 minus 12.25, sorry. I should know that, negative 23.25. And here we go, let's check this bad boy too. This is gonna be x squared, this was plus seven, x minus 11. And on this one, we're gonna have x plus, sorry, plus 3.5 squared minus 23.25. Yep, look at that, all of them are the same. And you know, you guys, if there's a couple that are the same, they're all gonna be the same, you gotta trust. You gotta trust. Vertex, we would move to the left, 3.5, and then down, negative 23.25. So we can do those with odds. We have calculators and we will use them. All right, here we go, next one, number four. What makes this different? It's the six. So we're gonna start off the same way. We're gonna take six x squared, minus 36 x, then minus one, and do the same thing. But here's the thing, let's go back to that first page. Isn't graphing form like that? The A is on the outside. So we're gonna take this guy, and we're gonna make this A times the quantity. So it's gonna be six times the quantity X squared, minus, what I multiply six by to get 36? That's six X. Now I'm gonna leave a little space there, okay? Because here's how this is gonna be. We're gonna complete this square, which has to be something squared, because that is what we got, Y equals A x minus h squared plus k. So the question is, all right, right here, this would be an x and an x, right? What do I, what has to be on the outside to give me negative six? Negative three and negative three. Y'all good with that? Negative three x, negative three x, it's negative six. So to complete my square, I gotta take negative three times negative three and that's adding nine, right? So I forgot my minus one out here because it is out there, it is important. All right, so here's my deal. If I added nine, do I subtract nine here? The answer is no, we did not add nine. We added nine times six, which is 54. So we technically added 54. So we have to subtract 54, all right? So here it is, y equals, we got six times the quantity x minus three squared and negative one minus 54 is negative 55. Guys, let's see how that goes. So we got six x squared. Good, you can see that. 6x squared minus 36x minus 1. And the other one we're going to have 6 times the quantity x minus 3 squared minus 55. Yep, same here. I mean, if you don't trust, you got to keep going, but it's good. Vertex, remember, this is our stretch. We're going to move it to the right 3 and down 55. That's my vertex. Fun times. Next one. This is the last one on this video. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Maybe you might, might wanna give this one a shot by yourself and just be like, hey, I'm gonna pause this and do it my own way, and I'm good with that. All right, I already took the quadratic and the linear term and I separated them. I need to take out a seven, and I'm gonna leave space to complete my square. So now the question is, something times something needs to equal something squared here, right guys? So x squared is x and x. The outside and inside combination needs to give me a negative 4x. Um, so wouldn't that be a negative 2 and a negative 2? Because negative 2x minus 2x is negative 4. And to complete my square, I got x times x is x squared. Negative 2x, negative 2x gives me negative 4x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is a plus 4. Did we add 4? No. We added 4 times 7, which means we added 28, which means we have to subtract 28. All right, here we go, guys. So we have seven here. We have an x minus two squared, because that's what we got there. And 15 minus 28 gives me minus 13. Let's see if we did that right. So this should be a seven x squared minus 28 x plus 15. This is gonna be a seven here, a minus two, and a minus 13. Let's see. I'm feeling good. This was a good video for me because I did not make any mistakes and I checked all my answers. Vertex for this one though, we'd move it to the right two and then down 13. There it is, guys. All right, so that is your lesson on completing the square. You will now have a worksheet. Um, good luck.